electronics. So the dream of all students in India is to get an internship opportunity at ISRO, right? So in today's video, we are going to explore what are the possibilities of doing your projects, project works or your internships or some training programs at ISRO at various locations. So this internship or training program is actually one of the integral part of Indian Space Research Program itself. And they are offering internships, projects, uh, multi-level and multi-scheme trainings to various students. And all the uh, BBTEC candidates, MEMTEC candidates, PhD candidates, MCA, MSc and BSc, uh, all these candidates are actually eligible to do their internships or project works at various ISRO locations. So we are going to explore in detail what are the possibilities, how all you can uh, apply for these uh, internships and project works. So all these details we are going to see in today's video. If you are interested, please do watch this video till the end. Also, if you are seeing the channel for the first time, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and subscription is absolutely free. Please do subscribe and please do watch this video till the end. Okay, so as I've told you, this internships or projects and trainings, these are actually one of the important or integral part of the education and training department of Indian Space Research Program. And they are offering summer internships, winter internships and long term internships and also the curriculum based academic project doing facilities to students and that uh, that is this uh, academic project doing facilities it is mainly for BBT candidates and MEMT candidates and also MCA okay so if you are also interested in doing your project work or if you are interested in doing some internship at ISRO various locations there is actually a lot of possibilities okay so let us see which are the branches of ISRO providing these internships and facilities and what are the branches that they are looking for. So the branches that they are mainly looking for are electrical, electronics, mechanical and civil. So these uh, branches and their subcategories are actually eligible to apply for these project works and internships. Okay, And the biggest advantage is that you can do your project works here in ISRO at various locations absolutely free of cost and on top of that after completing this project work or this internship you will get a valid certificate. So the biggest advantage is that you will get to explore the work culture of ISRO. You will get an experience to interact with the scientists and the engineers out there. So this is a biggest opportunity for any student or any fresher okay and also all the college teachers are having the opportunity to do this okay some of the branches of isro are also looking for college teachers or college professors okay so this video when i thought of making uh, the main aim is to provide the idea or to share with you the idea of what are actually the possibilities what are the branches and all because as a person who have done my project work at VSSC Trivandrum, I have actually experienced uh, the working culture, the, you know, the work culture and interaction with the scientists and the engineers out there. It is actually a very big thing, okay, for any student or any fresher. So, mostly all branches of ISRO is actually providing the internship or the project doing facilities because it is actually a part of their education and training program, okay. So the branches that they, uh, that is that is offering internships are IIST Trivandrum, then IIRS which is in Dharadun, National Atmospheric Research Laboratory NARL, then NNRMS which is National Natural Resource Management System, then ISAC which is in Bangalore, Space Application Center in Ahmedabad, Physical Research Laboratory in Ahmedabad, then National Remote Sensing Center in Hyderabad, then Vikram Sarabhai Space Research Center, which is in Trivandrum. Okay, so these are the locations at which you can actually do uh, the projects or internships. Okay, and also you will get various trainings. So, these programs they are mainly focusing on pre final year students, final year students, and also for college teachers and freshers. Okay, so that is the main detail you should be knowing if you are a pre-final year student and final year student you are having maximum uh, opportunity or you are the uh, 
having the maximum eligibility to apply for this. Now we are going to see uh, the details of some of the locations, what are the criteria which they have given, which all branches or which all uh, branches of study can apply for it, what is the duration of the training. Also we will see what is the deadline before which you have to apply if you are interested in doing the internship or project work. Okay. So first branch I have taken is Space Application Center, Ahmedabad. So you have to actually go to the location and you have to do your internship or your project work there. Some uh, branches, there is some branches of ISRO are also providing online internship or training program. That is you have to do this work from your home itself and you have to send the results of the, you know, your partial works and your outputs and all and you have to complete accordingly. Okay. Because of the COVID situation, some branches has actually made this virtual also. Okay. So the first location that we are going to see or explore is Space Application Center Ahmedabad. Also, towards the end of this video, I'll tell you how to uh, actually search this internship opportunities on ISRO uh, through Google. Okay. That is how is the searching procedure also. I'll tell you towards the end of this video. So the first location that we are going to see is Space Application Center Ahmedabad. Here, they are mainly focusing on BBTEC candidates, uh, MEMTEC candidates and also PhD candidates. So, you will get an opportunity to complete your project work or your uh, thesis work here in ISRO. So, I have completed my uh, MTech thesis uh, at VSSE. So, you can also do your project work and after the completion of this uh, project work or training or your internship, you will get a valid certificate which is a very big thing. Okay. So, for BBT candidates, the duration is 4 to 6 months. For MEMT candidates, it is 6 to 12 months. And for PhD candidates, it is 4 to 12 months. It will vary accordingly. Okay. And this is the duration for which you will be doing the internship or your project. And you will get a certificate after the completion. So, there won't be any assessments or anything happening inside the ISRO. The assessments will be generally happening in your college. Right. So, uh, you will go there, you will explore the uh, work culture, you will do your project, you will interact with the scientist and you will be actually working under a scientist or a guide. You can say the person as a guide. So, you will be working under this guide and you will get to know a lot of things from your guide. Okay. So, this is actually a very big uh, advantage that is you are actually going to work under a person. You are going to complete your project under a scientist. Okay. Now, the deadlines for applying uh, for the internships are like this. So, we have seen that there is summer internship and winter internship, right? So, for the June internship, that is the uh, internship which is starting from June, you have to apply on or before April 30th. I am talking about the space application center location detail. Then, for the January session, you have to apply on or before October 30th, 31st, okay? So, that is the uh, detail. And how you have to apply is you have to apply uh, by getting the permission from your college. You will have to fill up an application form duly signed by the head of the department and uh, the other head of the institution of the college. And you have to apply through the college. So the application procedure will be through college only you have to apply. Okay. So that is the first branch which is Space Application Center. The next branch that we are going to see is URSC. So this URSC is in Bangalore location. So uh, here they have actually put some criteria. Minimum 70 percentage of mark you should be having in your MEM Tech, uh, your MSc, MCA, and also if you are a BB Tech candidate, again you require minimum 70 percentage of mark. Okay, so mostly for all the locations, if you are having minimum 70 percentage of mark, only you can, uh, only then you can apply. Okay, and the duration is uh, for MEM Tech, it is 10 to 12 months. For MSc, MCA, here MSc, MCA candidates are also being, um, that is admitted, okay. So, 6 to 8 months is the duration for MSc, MCA candidates. For B, beta candidates, the duration of your internship or project will be only for 4 months, okay. So, that is the uh, duration detail. And again, after completion of this uh, internship or your project work, you will get a certificate, okay. So, this is the details of URSC. For all the locations, you can uh, get the address also. Okay, so you have to post the application form to the given address. Now, how to find these uh, internships in ISRO? What is the search procedure? I'll be telling you towards the end of the video. Okay, so that is the second location. Last branch that we are going to explore is Physical Research Laboratory, that is PRL. Here, there is actually two separate programs for the students and for the college teachers. Okay, 
they have also given the what is eligibility criteria and all to apply for these uh, internship programs so here all the bsc candidates msc bb tech mem tech all the candidates are actually eligible to apply uh, the third year and the fourth year students they are preferring okay so they have given the details here so uh, you can do your internships or project work in the location that is physical, physical research laboratory location also you will get a valid certificate and you will get a good work experience here okay so there is uh, as i have told you there is separate programs for the college teachers and also students so these are the various locations uh, in which you can actually do the internships or project works at isro so rather than just doing your project works in any project center if you are getting an opportunity to uh, do some project works or some internships at isro and if you are getting a valid certificate from there it is actually a very big thing you will get to explore a lot of new things new new technologies and you will get to study many many new things uh, if you are getting an internship opportunity there okay so please do uh, try it if you are getting it then it is it is a big thing okay because many people comment uh, uh, comment in the comment session and also message me that isro is actually their dream they just want to explore isro they want to work there so this, this is not a, a full time job or work this is just a project or the internship but again you will get to uh, go there and explore new technologies and study new new things that is a big thing okay so that is uh, why i have actually thought of making this video now let us see how to uh, find this internship opportunity so just go to google and search isro internship okay so if you are uh, going to google and if you are searching isro internship you will get a link which is saying internships slash projects slash training isro just click on that and then you can see the site in which all the branches various branches are being listed out there is various locations uh, in which you can do the internships and project works they have listed out also they have given a brief detail about what is actually the internship and training program and on which all branches they are giving the uh, trainings and internships also they have given the location links along with the locations they have given the links so whichever location is nearby or closest to you you can click on that location and you can see the details and you can apply accordingly okay so this is how you are going to find the uh, internships at isro there is mostly they are not taking any fees but there will be some uh, 100 rupees or some uh, very minimal amount uh, for the registration process sometimes they will take mostly they won't take any rupee okay and also provided uh, they'll be providing you the canteen facilities and all uh, for very minimal charge some locations are providing some locations are not providing okay so uh, you can actually get to know about those details when you go to the various location links okay so that's all for today's video i'm trying to bring up maximum new new contents maximum useful contents for all the uh, subscribers out there please do support the channel i'm maximum doing research works on the useful topics which you are commenting and and also i'm trying to bring up uh, new updates and new you know new informations so if you are finding these informations useful please make sure you subscribe a lot of people are watching the channel without subscribing to it the analytics of you to be saying that i'm not saying that okay so uh, if you are finding the videos useful please do give it a thumbs up also share the video with your friends and if you want more videos please subscribe thanks for watching and keep on watching